often I get to work with tools and I get stuck in the one tool that I'm using and never look at the additional options. And I think this is one of them that I think will really help you. It's this uh, little eyedropper tool here. It's called, it's a color picker and the style picker. And I'll show you what the difference is. So what I'm going to do first is use these two circles. I'm going to select the first one here because this is the thing we're going to affect with our first tool, which is going to be the color picker tool. If I select it, you'll notice on top here, it's got two areas. Uh, one show, says global and the other one says point here. If you click on global, all that means is that if you're selecting global, whatever is on all the layers is treated as a sample area. So if I make a sample on the screen here, take a sample of something, it's using what I'm seeing here. If you select current layer, if anything is not on the layer that you've selected here, it will appear as black. So if I click a layer, so I say current layer, and I click off the object that's on the layer, and then I try and paste that color onto something else, it will just be black. There won't be, you won't be able to take the actual color. So I suggest just keep it on global. The point is what area is your sample area? Okay, so we've got this selected now, so I'm going to go and sample a particular area. It's saying that wherever your cursor is, 1.1 pixels, one by one pixel is your sample color area. So if I've selected this and I click here now, that will stay turquoise. But if I go and I hover over the red, the inside will turn red because it's using that as my, my sample area. Remember, first go to the move tool or the selection and select the area you want affected before you you come down to the color picker tool so it knows this is the one you're affecting what the difference is with the point here is if we choose a bigger sample area say 65 pixels then when i'm hovering here it's taking 65 by 65 pixels so if i do it in the middle you'll see that this will still stay turquoise because 65 by 65 pixels is all the same color but if I move closer to the edge here, it's going to use turquoise plus a bit of red in the sample area and look what happens. See, it's doing a combination of them. Or if I move at the border of them, if I move on there, so it becomes more red. If I move off here, it's only taking what's off here plus this red as a sample. Okay, so that's what that's about. I pretty much use it on 1.1 1 1 all the time. So whatever I select, it affects you know, you don't sit with a problem of, of blending, unless that's an aspect that you really want. So let me just clear these two off here. Delete that. <clears throat> now we're coming to this, this other feature here. If you go to the Style Picker tool, again, look on top here. If we click there, it comes up with a whole host of settings. Now you could possibly get a hold of the Style Picker by going to Edit and going and go copying a item and then pasting you know, the style, the effects and everything. But this tool is exceptionally handy and it's, it's a bit more intuitive to use. Um, most of us will just go click on here and we think, okay, if I sample this and click on the next thing, it's going to take everything across. And when you do that, sometimes what you're trying to get across doesn't come and it looks like it's broken it's, or it's putting some other effects on. That's because there are certain settings that we are not aware of. So let's have a look at them here. First of all here, once you've clicked on something, you could carry on working with your project, but when you come back to this tool again and you click onto a place, it's going to take what's in the clipboard, what's in its memory, and apply it there. And that might not be what you want. You want to clear out that clipboard and make your new selection. So it's usually a good principle I do is to come, when I open the tool, I click unload. So I unload anything that's in memory, any of the selections. Okay. Um, all and none, you can see that copy all the formatting, uh, copy no formatting, etc. You can experiment with that. What I want to highlight here is these aspects. So when you load a particular um, style from an object that you're clicking on, you can transfer any one of these features to the next object that you click on, or you could disable some. For example, if you got it from this 100, you just want to take the fill and not the stroke, you can disable it. So you select it, then disable that, and when you paste that 
onto the new object, it doesn't include the stroke as an effect. So you have a bit of customization here. I'm going to leave those all on default. As you notice, there's some paragraph things that wouldn't apply to a curve object. Um, and then in the other case also, if you're applying something from something that's curves onto a text object, it's not going to take certain attributes because the text is still governed by certain rules. So if you convert it to curves, it then will take on more of the attributes that are available. And I'll show that to you. Okay, so we've got nothing in the buffer. I'm going to click this. There you see it's got something now. And if I want to unload it, I've got to click there again. So it's got this the style of this 100 in there. Now, if I click on here, you're going to see it's just turning into that color. So it's almost like the color picker. It's not doing any kind of effects, 3D effects and all that. On. And the reason for that is because this is still bound into a text editing. If I come here and I want to edit, you'll see it's still text. So I can still go and type further. So how do I? I'm going to go Control Z. Uh, just to get it back to its original. How do I get that to take the actual style across? If you're moving it from vector, it should be in vector also. So if I click here, I'm going to say convert to curves. There's different ways of doing it. You can go through the menu or right click, but I'm going to just click up here. So now once it's curves, if I go back here and I go select the style, you see it's still loaded. I can immediately go there and put the style there, but my habit tells me I just unload it, go click the style I'm working with, and I know in my mind what I'm doing. Now, as you click there already, you notice it's, it's even taking that across here. So I'm going to just go undo that. Um, it's selected here, so as soon as I do anything, it, it, it happens. So I'm going to deselect it so that when I go and get the style, it's not going to automatically put some effect on there immediately, okay? So you've got to, you've got to kind of keep a clean working uh, methodology, else sometimes things creep in. So I'm going to go style picker, unload it, and then I'm going to load it. And you'll notice nothing happens here because it's not selected. I haven't selected this before I click there. However, if I hover over here and click here now, can you see that? It's taken that full effect and I can do that. And what I can do now is I'm going to unload this and then I'm going to go load the green and come and do that. Oops, it's not pulling the green through. Let me see. Maybe my, my sample area is too wide. So I'm going to go zoom in and I'm going to unload and select the green. There we go and see if that works. There we go. Because sometimes if you do that, you might find that your cursor selection is maybe sort of crossing over where you should work. Then you can just zoom in to get a better sample. But that is how you can move it across. So you could now take any other vector art um, or, or curves that you're using and take something from a curve and place it on there like that. So you don't have to now go select the object like I used to do, go to the effects, see what the settings there are, or select this and go copy and paste effects and all that. It's, it's as easy as clicking here and dropping the things out. Um, just the last thing I want to mention, which you can experiment with also, which is really cool, is if I'm, for example, say I've got this text here, and I want to take this format of the text and place that into another piece of text. And this could go with, you know, you maybe have a, a nice formatted first letter of text that you're busy with in a document and you want to transfer the format from that just to that first letter, you can do that. So this one is a bit sensitive. If you click the sample area on the whole text, it will transfer to the whole other text. You've got to be specific getting onto the letter itself. So sometimes it needs a bit of zooming in. So let me show you what, what I'm on about here. So I'm going to come here now and I'm going to go to style picker. And the reason I can do this on text now, now this is not uh, vector art. Uh, I shouldn't say it's not vector art. It's not uh, converted to curves. It's still in an edit format. I can zoom in and I can say this, the easier, the format here, I'm going to click. Oops, can you see it's, haha. <laughs> I tell you not to do it and there I've done it. I haven't unloaded the thing yet. I'm going to now sample this and I'm clicking on that. 
and then I can move here and if I click on to I've got to be specific here now and load this on here if I click there you can to see that that word changes to that font if I go there and I click on possible so what happened is it takes this formatting here and transfers it across here I could do the same here unload choose explain and maybe come here to possible and click on possible and you see the it will transfer that um, character setting across here so this is actually a great way of preparing a formatted thing and then just going to kind of copy or clone that across and then disable and enable as you want to on top here for your bigger purpose main takeaway here also is not main takeaway but the main thing that you got to remember is unload it and don't just leave it loaded because you're going to inevitably be clicking and trying to sample something and it's placing the previous thing onto that okay so hopefully that gets you underway making some nice uh, effects and some nice formatting copying across speeding up your workflow have a fantastic day be blessed and shalom to all